Welcome to Mathematics with Amps, Grade 12, Sequences and Series, Part 2. Don't forget to give me a huge like and subscribe. Arithmetic Sequences, or some people might say Arithmetic Sequences. Consider the following linear number pattern, 7, 10, 13, 16, 19, etc. Now we can rewrite this pattern using only the first term and the constant difference. For instance, T1 is 7. That means the first term is 7. And then the constant difference will be the second term minus the first one is the same as the third term minus the second one is the same as the fourth term minus the third one. And all of them give you a constant difference of 3. Right. So therefore, if you look at how to get a formula, then you get term 1 is 7, term 2 is 7 plus 3, term 3 is 7 plus 3 plus 3, which means two threes. Term 4 is 7 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3, that means three threes, and then four threes, and then nine threes. So you'll notice that the term 10 is 7 plus 9 threes. So the 9 is 1 less than the 10. Or the 9 is 1 less than the position. For instance, term 100 is 7 plus 99 times 3. Remember now, 3 is the common difference. So therefore, an n is the position of the term. So therefore, 7 plus n minus 1, 3. And that also becomes the so-called general term for an arithmetic sequence. So this is very important. The formula can be used like that, or you can remove the brackets and you get 4 plus 3n. So if the letter A is used for the first term and D for the constant difference, then we can rewrite the formula then as A plus 3D, or we can also say A plus 2D plus D, and more A plus 3D. So therefore, term 5 is for, for instance a plus 4d, term 6 is a plus 5d, term 10 is a plus 9d, and so forth and so forth. So therefore, the final formula will be tn equals to a plus n minus 1d. And that is considered as the general term for an arithmetic sequence. So remember now, a represents the first term, d represents the constant difference, N represents the position of the term, and TN represents the nth term or the general term. Let's look at an example. Consider the arithmetic sequence 3, 5, 7, 9. Let's first determine is it arithmetic. In other words, is there a common difference? So let's see. 5 minus 3 is 2. 7 minus 5 is 2. 9 minus 7 is 2. So yes, there is a common difference of 2. So therefore, the D is 2. So therefore, this is arithmetic. So we must determine a formula for a general term. And then we must find the 50th term. So term 1 is 3. That means A is 3. And of course, like I said, the common difference is 2. So use the formula a plus n minus 1d, do your substitution, a is 3, and of course, d is 2, remove the brackets, and you get tn equals to 2n plus 1. And to find the 50th term, so term 50 is just 2 times 50 plus 1, which is 101. Let's look at another example. Negative 5, negative 9, negative 13, and negative 17. Now, please use the calculator here if you're not sure. So, if you check for common difference, negative 9 minus a negative 5 is actually negative 9 plus 5. So, therefore, the common difference is negative 4. Very important. And, of course, A is negative 5. Do your substitution in the formula and you get the answer, which is, of course, negative 101, if you want to find the 25th term. Right. Let's look at another example. Determine which term of the sequence negative 1, 2, 5, and 8 is equal to 80. Let's first see if this arithmetic. So what is 2 minus a negative 1? 
what is 5 minus 2, and what is 8 minus 5. In all three cases, the answer is 3, so the common difference is 3, so therefore it is arithmetic. So write down your formula then, a plus n minus 1d, but remember now, the term at is given, so therefore tn becomes at, right? Then a is negative 1, and of course d is a 3. Remove the brackets, make n the subject, and therefore the answer is 28. Let's look at the next example. The first term is x, the second term is 4x plus 5, the third term is 10x minus 5. Now they tell you that these three are terms of an arithmetic sequence. So if they tell you it is arithmetic, then that means there is a common difference. So you're going to make use of that fact that common differences are equal. So look at the first common difference. 4x plus 5 minus x gives you 3x minus 5. The second difference is 10x minus 5 minus a 4x minus 5. And that gives you 6x minus 10. So these two common differences should be equal. So therefore, 3x plus 5 is equal to 6x minus 10. Then solve for x and you get x equals to 5. Then you can go back and substitute. So x is 5, so therefore term 1 is 5. 4x plus 5 is 25 and so forth. Term 3 is 10x minus 5 is 45. So therefore the sequence is actually 5, 25 and 45. Yes, I would like you to do yourself a favor and please work through this exercise. Make sure that you can do each one of them because it will only be in your own good stead. Right, so on this page, I've decided to give you the solution to the exercise. So when you're done with the exercise, check whether you have the same answers like the given answers. Enjoy. Right, this is Mathematics with Amps. I hope that you've enjoyed this short video. Don't forget to give me a huge like and to subscribe. Ahmed Suleiman from Mathematics with Amps.